Ops chase Kodak Black and ends up hitting his security guard in the leg. Let's get into it, man. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Now, Kodak Black, his name has been ringing. Southside of 808 Mafia is one of the people who has been keeping his name on social media, trending through blogs over some things that Kodak Black might have said or done and in insinuating his lust for young Miami. Now, in this latest incident, Kodak Black was actually caught lacking leaving a show that he was actually headlining in Tallahassee. Now, it says that Kodak Black actually was leaving this event about 3 a.m. when this car began to follow or try to cut him off. Now, there were several vehicles that actually tried to attempt to cut Kodak Black off, according to 12. Now, 12 also said that the incident did take place outside of the McDonald's. One person was seriously hit up but could not provide any additional details to the news station at the time. Now, it says, according to the preliminary investigation obtained by the Democrat, it says that Kodak Black's group pulled up to the McDonald's, and it says that they blocked the entrance. Now, Kodak Black, he wanted to go in to get whatever he was getting from McDonald's himself. It says that the security team attempted to stop him. Now, the same vehicle that had been chasing him earlier Pops up in a parking lot. They must check the spot out to see if it was Kodak Black. They spent the bin. Who knows what they were doing? Probably getting ready. And it says that when they pulled back up, they began spraying in the parking lot. Now, according to this report, a security guard was hitting the leg and taken to the Tallahassee Hospital. Kodak Black was actually rushed away from the incident in another armored vehicle. Now, as of Monday, the security guard was still going under or undergoing serious surgery after being hit up in the leg. Uh, it says that they actually hit an artery in his leg, and he lost a large amount of blood. Now, the Culture Fest was a large all-day music festival that Kodak Black attended, and he was among several artists who actually performed at this event. Now, where it goes on to talk about Kodak Black's record sales and about, you know, charges that he faced in federal prison, after being detained at the U.S. border, as well as about Kodak Black being pardoned by Donald Trump. Now, like I said, Kodak Black has had a lot going on the last several days. A lot of people first, you know, began talking about him when he showed that he cut his hair. After that, you know, was other things taking place. The situation with 808 Mafia Southside over Young Miami then got really out of control. You got other artists from Florida stating what you know what they're not going to allow Southside to come down there and do Southside is a legend that Kodak Black isn't even from Miami which Kodak Black has never said he was from Miami everybody knows he's from Broward County but you know I guess 808 Mafia decided to say what he said anyway long story to the short this does not look good for Kodak Black Again, he did get released on a pardon. He does have another case that he actually has to still go to trial for, that he's fighting for his freedom for that. And it just seems like this is how a lot of things with Kodak Black starts before he ends up going back to jail. Internet beefs, grudges, tweets that he puts out where he's actually claiming that he's the originator of certain things. Other artists begin feeling some type of way. Maybe a little bit of perp usage or whatever in there. So it's a lot going on right now. And I can see Kodak Black beginning to spiral out of control. Hopefully his team is able to pull him back and get him back together in position to win and not lose. But get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm Amadi the Ruler. Hopefully the security guard pulls through. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.